This is a CBS4 Tracking Fred update. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Lissette Gonzalez. And as we just received the 11 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Tropical Depression Fred is now 230 miles east of Camagüey, Cuba, moving west northwest at 14 miles an hour. So it has slowed down slightly. Max sustained wind still 35 miles an hour. And we are seeing those tropical storm watches continuing for portions of Haiti, as well as eastern Cuba, Turks and Caicos, and southeast Bahamas. Still heavy rain across parts of Hispaniola and now beginning to move in through parts of Turks and Caicos and Cuba. And Hurricane Hunter is going in to investigate and finding that Fred remains disorganized as it moved over Hispaniola overnight. It was disrupted, weakened, and also dealing with a little bit of wind shear and dry air. Now, Fred is forecast to move near or across parts of Cuba and the Bahamas as we head throughout the day today, which we'll be watching closely. But as of now, the Hurricane Center says. There is an opportunity for re intensify as we head into tomorrow back into a tropical storm before it approaches our general direction, which right now the center is forecast to move across the keys, but we can't focus in on that because the tropical storm conditions will be possible for most of South Florida as we head into late tomorrow night and into Saturday, especially as when the worst of the weather would be impacting us, all depending on the eventual intensity and track of Fred, which there is still some uncertainty, but it is still headed in our general direction. Direction and all that moisture is going to bring us heavy rain and the possibility of flooding. Now, Fred is forecast to move up the west coast of the state into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and could be making landfall early next week, somewhere along the panhandle. Many of the models in agreement that it moves in that general west northwest direction, but there is some disagreement, and the models do begin to spread out as we head into late tomorrow and the weekend. Some of the models moving it a little bit closer to us, while others are keeping it a little further west, and this is the reason why. We have to continue to closely monitor it. As we look at the infrared satellite imagery, you can see that Fred is indeed struggling, very lopsided, and not looking very healthy. As again, as I mentioned, the rugged terrain of Hispaniola has really disrupted it and weakened it, and it remains disorganized. However, all the moisture with Fred is headed our way, and as of now, models are forecasting anywhere from three to five inches of rain with isolated amounts of up to eight inches. And since the ground's already saturated from the recent rain, we've had. Any additional rain could lead to some flooding, 